Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley if you're new here, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like and comment on this video. Tell me what item that you like the most because today we are reviewing Jenny Ray. If you've never heard of them before, I have everything that I'm gonna be featuring here listed in the description below with my sizing and my measurements for your reference. But these are just some of the lovely pieces including including the sweater that I'm wearing right now. <laughs> Excuse any background noise as it, is a, as it is a very busy household and I have two beautiful animals here including our dog Whiskey who is a husky and our beautiful tabby cat Tequila. <laughs> Whiskey is very obsessed with my hands so you might see him jump at me a couple times throughout this video. So we're gonna review a couple items sent to me by Jenny Ray. All opinions and thoughts are my own and 100% genuine and honest, regardless if someone sends me items or I buy them myself. <laughs> I believe most of these items that I have chosen today are staple pieces in anyone's wardrobe. I am so excited to add them to mine um, and try them on for you and see how they fit, how they feel, what the quality is like, is it worth your time, does it have a funky smell? because one of them does. Let's see which one. So sad thing is, is I recorded the whole thing for this and it was deleted. Anyways, so this first chiffon dress is this beautiful navy blue full length dress with a little peephole in the front as you can see and it twists just right at the bust, giving it some dimension and a little texture right where you need it. <laughs> it does have a halter strap just holding you in at the top there, so it's adjustable, and as well as at the back, you do have the option to adjust that strap there. So I'm currently not wearing a bra with this dress. I think depending on your body type, you could wear maybe a strapless bra, but I felt comfortable wearing no bra because you already Already no. So I am wearing flats with this look, but I think it would look really cute with a pair of heels. I didn't have any at the time. I have no idea where the hell they went off to. But it does have two slits just up the front as well, giving you some more leg room for dancing, because we all know when we're going to weddings, which is why I bought this dress. Um, that's what I had every intention of doing, was to dance and to celebrate, because 2020 has just been so sad. So next up, we have the Black Pirate. Oh my gosh, nice, 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 nice. Do not chase her. As I was saying, next up we have the Black High Rise Loose Harlem Jean Denim Pants. Nice long name. So far we have a lot of long names here, but it gets the job done and is a great descriptor of the item already in the name. So. I am always in the market for a new pair of jeans as my body is always fluctuating. Um, I've been working really hard to grow those glutes, so I wanted to kind of get a nice loose fitted pair of jeans and recently my mom jeans have ripped so I'm in the market anyway. They do appear to be quite oversized and that's what I'm looking for because I do have some interesting proportions there so as long as if the waist fits, that's what I'm really looking for and if there's extra room in the leg and glute area. And just taking it out of the box, I can tell there is quality there. It seems very sturdy. It's not like that cheap denim material, not to put anyone down or anything, but I did buy jeans off of, um, I think it was Forever 21 once. and. You get what you pay for, but I wasn't expecting it. So when I took it out of the package, I was like, oh, a little disappointed, but kind of understood. These are pretty inexpensive, but actually quality. Like, they're, they're really good. Like, the seams are not fraying. Like, this will last a while. So there's no rips or anything, no detailing. It's very simple. So quite a wide back here. Lots of room for the booty, like I said and everything is black. So the little button detail here is also black. Um, the zipper here appears to be like a dark silver. There's pockets on either side, pockets in the back. Little mini pocket here. Oh, that's so cute. It's actually functional pockets, which I like. And you're, ah, <laughs> whiskey. We went for a walk. I bought you some new toys. 
what do you want from me? So overall, I'm very pleased with these jeans and I'm really, really excited for all the fall outfits that I'm going to be pairing them with. I swear, this dog, this dog just wants everything I have. Like I give him toys and he just wants what is in my hands. Given the fact it's Halloween, every year since I even fit whiskey, every year since I found out about American Horror Story, season one has been my favorite. I've watched practically all of them. I don't think I finished Asylum. I know that I have some friends that love Asylum, that episode or that season, but I just, I just couldn't get through it. It says, normal people scare me. Who can relate to this? Such a cute sweater. I think it's supposed to be oversized. It comes in XL and XXL. Um, but that's just the way I like my sweaters, especially around um, fall time. You know, nice big cozy sweater. But yeah, this looks like a perfect size. This is like, don't let the XL like scare you away from thinking it's not gonna fit nice because this looks fantastic. I'm so happy about this. And the quality is very, very stretchy and nice stretchy material. It doesn't have a lining inside, so it's just one straight material. It's not like super soft inside or like double lined or anything. This sweater would pair really well with those oversized jeans, just like an oversized look all around. Super comfy. Like I said, perfect for fall um, and October. I think it's like just the whole, it just gives me good vibe. Kind of like a slick fabric, so I don't really see it losing its color very easily. But this seems like it would be very difficult to extract the color from it because of this kind of shiny material. It's not like your traditional sweater kind of material. I'll let you take a look. Next on the list is also kind of like a throwback for me. <laughs> This is the Bring Me the Horizon t-shirt. I hope they get some kind of commission for this. I'm sure they do, but it looks so, so cool. I have, I love this. I also think this t-shirt would pair very well with the oversized um, jeans. The material is quite thick, so very nice for fall, as most of the items that I picked are. Um, it's not a thin material. So in comparison to the sweater I just spoke about and this t-shirt, this is a shirt that would be more likely to fade in the wash. So you do definitely want to wash in cold water and hang to dry. You don't want to lose that like bright, vibrant black. <laughs> but also like a light wash black into like a gray and like a vintage look is also really cool too. So honestly like, Especially with like a band t-shirt, you could really go either way. But I always like my my uh, my darks to remain as dark as possible. All right, and we are moving on to the solid color deep V buttons leisure sweater cardigan. What a name, what a name. Just get the whole description right in there. Um, but yeah, it's very true to what it's called. You can definitely wear this with the buttons up or as a cardigan. So it's very, very cute. I think it's very versatile if you want it to be a little bit more work appropriate. Of course, you wanna wear something underneath it. Casual, you know, just a nude color bra um, or bralette. It's a beautiful knit kind of material, so it looks really warm. Um, it's not as soft as I would like it. Um, it doesn't look like it's gonna be easily pulled. So you compromise with the softness of the material for not being like kind of fuzzy, you know? You know what I'm saying? I'm probably gonna roll these up as well, but I really, really like how big and spacious the arms are because I don't like when my arms are restricted. I feel like that's the most uncomfortable thing, especially if you're working all day and you just have like this constant pulling there. It's not, it's not a comfortable look. So nice big oversized clothes for fall is always going to be in trend. And next up we have the polka dot printed fall bala, fall ball. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> When I chose this dress, I had a early fall, late spring in mind um, because I just love how neutral the colors are. I think it's perfect for those times of year. Um, of course, you don't want to be wearing a midi dress. Um, 
have her through winter. Unless you're wearing stockings with it, it could be very cute and like a cardigan. That would work, definitely. Um, but I think I have spring in mind. I already, I'm already thinking about spring. But at the front here, you have the button detailing here, which you can open up. Okay, so there's two things to keep in mind about this dress, although it's very, very cute. Some subtle things to take into account. I originally thought that the hem here would just sit nicely underneath my butt, but it does not quite make it to the end of my butt. And if it goes above, then that's a little concerning. <laughs> um, and then I guess because I have maybe wider hips, um, yeah, there's a little, a little opening there. <laughs> a little opening, a little peephole, but uh, I don't want a peephole there. A quick fix for that is I could probably use a uh, a safety pin and safety pin this together or I could sew it together. It's not really a big issue. I think it's just up to your body type. Um, so it's not really working for my body type because I have wide hips and- Got a heavy flow and a wide set vagina. Not that. <laughs> not that. <laughs> okay. I just have to note that none of the other items had any kind of smell um, they're just pretty neutral. But when I took this out of the package, um, it had a, it's, it's not a bad smell, it's just like a, definitely a factory smell. <laughs> I'm sure it will fade with time and wear, but it's definitely my first, my first thought when I opened up this, I was like, oh, what is that? This is the black PU leather Irregular high waisted slim mini skirt. This is, of course, faux leather, so it's not real leather, but it's very simple. I feel like a staple piece in most wardrobes would be a leather, faux leather mini skirt. I think it's really cute and it goes with a lot of different looks. Some tights, even that v neck sweater. But yeah, it's just very simple, no pockets. It just has some detailing along the sides here zipper in the back, but it's pretty well hidden. Yeah, very straightforward. And don't forget, I'm going to list all my sizing in the description below if you have questions and my measurements as well. Other than the smell, first impression is pretty good. The outer layer is obviously faux leather and then inside it has this kind of fuzzy material. So it'll feel nice along the skin. But very cute, very simple. Like I said, I think it's a great staple in anyone's wardrobe, so I am so happy to add it to mine. Next up, we have the high-waisted solid color PU leather jogger pants, and I'm also very excited for these because I used to have a pair of leather joggers and I don't know what happened to them. Or they're one of those pieces that you think about randomly and you're like, where did that go? So this one doesn't, it has kind of a smell, but but not, not the same smell as the skirt. This one does not smell like the leather skirt. We have a drawstring waist here, so it's adjustable, but it seems pretty stretchy. So it kind of, it already looks like it's gonna snatch you in, but at the same time, if you need some extra room, if you're feeling a little bloated, it looks like it's gonna support you very well. Then of course the legs are quite wide. So the cute little detailing on the aglet here is silver wide leg and then it cinches at your ankle here so I like this because it won't look like you know flowy bell bottom which is cute too but I like my leggings pants jeans anything to come right to my ankle for my everyday wear I usually wear oversized simplistic outfits mostly consisting of monochromatic Shades. I truly believe all of these pieces are interchangeable within each other as well as probably items you already have in your wardrobe. So very, very elegant, simple, and timeless pieces in my opinion. I can't remember what this one is. Oh, I remember what this is. This is a two-piece set, um, obviously in the color. So the two pieces that you get with this is a nice oversized sweater here 
and then some biker shorts some casual casual biker shorts these are not for working out these are for lounging around the house or taking the dog for a walk during the spring or summer I live in Canada so certainly not all year round and there's no dog hair on it yet I feel like I need to appreciate the fact that these two black pieces are not gonna have dog hair on them for like five minutes the material does appear to be quite thin it is opaque but lifting it up to the light here you can certainly see through it and I wouldn't want any uh, embarrassing moments for you if that's not what you're into I personally don't care if people can see my underwear they can see my underwear like whatever but maybe not everyone feels that way so I just want to warn you be cautious and then here on the sweater, it's double lined on the hood. It's an extra big hood, actually. I would like that. Very nice for cooler days to have that option to put the hood on and it actually cover your entire head and your hair if you don't want it to get wet. It's not extra thick, so it's quite a thin material here. That's why I wouldn't be like wearing that solo in the winter or anything. You might want to wear a t-shirt underneath it. This would be another great piece for fall or spring or just lounging around the house, which I have every intent of using it for. And then on the front here, they have that big pocket where you can hide your hands, hide your keys, hide your... I couldn't help that. I can't believe I almost forgot to talk about these really cute cat eye sunglasses. When I saw them, it totally reminded me of when I was in college and I was obsessed with cat eye sunglasses. I saw them on Kourtney Kardashian one time and she had such a variety of different Tom Ford cat eye sunglasses. I was like, I need some. So I found some knockoffs and then I lost them, never thought about them again. And then I saw these, oh my God. They're giving me such throwback. I love them. This is like a whole mood right here. I am obsessed. I think this is so cute. I love these sunglasses. Oh, what a throwback. What a throwback from a throwback because the cat eye was popular in what era? Remind me. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, and put on those bell notifications so you don't miss my next one. I have a lot of exciting videos coming up as a huge life change is about to happen, and I do plan on documenting before and after some transformation photos, but I am really excited to share this journey with you as much as possible um, and take you along our DIYs. Also, don't forget if you do like any of the pieces I showcase in today's video, everything is listed in the description below with my sizing and measurements, all for your reference. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.